Different conditions require different ways of decontamination. For example, here is a bridge which our troops must use. It is spattered with pools of liquid agent, and these must be either decontaminated or removed. First, the NCO orders a warning sign to be posted in the road. The detail is then told which procedure is to be used. When liquid gases have been splashed on hard surfaces, water will remove most of them. Thus, in this case, water is used. The contaminated area is scrubbed thoroughly to wash away all traces of the chemical. Here, water is very effective because there is good drainage. Most liquid chemical agents are heavier than water and will remain at the bottom of any pools caused by drainage. The water then forms a seal and very slowly decomposes mustard. However, in the case of lewisite, the reaction is more rapid. The water changes it into a white vesicant solid, which must be covered with a layer of earth or ashes, for it can still cause burns by contact. When there is no drainage, a contaminated road can be swabbed with a slurry of bleach of about equal parts by weight of water and chlorinated lime. When water is not available, hard surface roads that have been contaminated with liquid agents are covered with a layer of earth. This does not destroy the agent, but smothers the vapor and keeps it from coming in contact with the troops.